What's going on guys? John here and today doing a little bit of a different video for you guys But I wanted to talk about the sword and shield era silver tempest and kind of just an interesting like market take on what's going on here So I think we're pretty much getting near the end of the sword and shield era here And I'm gonna start picking up some chase cards and possibly some booster boxes just to kind of hold on for the long term, maybe keep some for myself, maybe open on the channel. But I want to talk about this Lugia Altar card that I'm going to start picking up a few copies of here right around the $100, $110 mark. And just kind of give you a little bit of a reason why. So first thing I wanted to talk about was, so the Silver Tempest booster boxes, and same with a lot of the other Sword and Shield booster boxes, we're finally getting towards the end of the Sword and Shield era. We got, we're like four, four, uh, releases deep into Scarlet and Violet era. So these are pretty much drying up and we're finally starting to see that with Silver Tempest getting bought back up. It's like 130, 120 on TCG player. You can get it for like 120 on Amazon. So they're all still pretty cheap out there. But what we're talking about here is before that reprint in May, they had already made it up to like 140, 150 a box. And just to kind of show you, I have like pricing chart up here. It's a pretty useful tool for this so back in may that lugia card was 160 with the psa 10s going for 355 and today it's 108 with the psa 10s going for 264 so i and again this is the this is the chase card this is the rarest card in the whole set so i i think this is eventually going to be somewhere closer to like that three or four hundred dollar card because, again, I, I personally think it's a pretty iconic card. You got Lugia, one of the most iconic Pokemon out there. And you also have very similar to the Shining Gyarados with the Fisherman in the boat. Like, I think there's a lot going on with this card. A lot of potential. Like, just to kind of give a reference here, I'm going to go ahead and pull up. Uh, Lost Origins, it was gang uh, Giratina was always more expensive. But even still, where's... Uh, we're looking here like the fusion strike had bad hit rates but even still like the gengar cards already 200s still same same story where basically never really went down it's still in that 200 dollar range didn't really see the reprint but for lost origin here in giratina like you're finally starting to see some bottoming out here i mean giratina was a 325 dollar card and back down to 230 and these lost origin booster boxes i've seen sales going on where they're 140 here i've seen them for 105 110 i mean i'm starting to think like every old pokemon product you eventually see start to go up really really big no one wants to really sit on anything right now i mean you've seen me i haven't really been opening packs right now that's just for I'm saving up for a wedding i kind of commented for you guys but i think I'm, I'm gonna forgo kind of doing more big openings. I'll still be doing shorts and stuff, but I want to start just picking up packs and boxes to hold. The the biggest, I guess, position air quotes I have is in Evolving Skies, ETBs. I might start considering picking up singles, but I think there's a ton of potential just kind of in Lost Origins and Silver Tempest of just these cards that can go crazy. I think Lugia V is honestly going to be my biggest pickup. Like you can see here, you can get the PSA 10s, like 240. Like if you're just looking, you can see them up to 280. There's one 355. So I think anything under 275, I think is really, really interesting to grab here. I think completely realistic to see it back to a $400 PSA 10 card, $250 ungraded card. Like just here's some ungraded listings. Like someone got one for $66. Again, it's probably not the best condition, but a decent condition. You can see the front and back of it. Always make sure you can check the back of it on eBay. 105, but if you want that PSA 10, that's really gonna hold its value. I think you're probably worth it just kind of doing some time. Once the holiday season is over, we'll probably see another little bit of dip down because no one's gonna be buying them for their friends and family during the holiday. So I think anything under that 275, like I said, I wanna try to get probably five, five of these cards just to hold on to save them up and then it'll come time to trade them in for something better get a profit do whatever you want but i think if if this is a card you're waiting to get in your collection 
I think I think we're at the end. I think there's nowhere to go but up for these cars. They're they're going to be out of print. You're going to quit finding Silver Tempest, like slipped into the promo tins and everything going on. So I think it'd be a worthwhile thing to take a shot on. Hope let me know what you guys think below. Tell comment if you think is hey more to go down, more to go up, and uh, see you next time.